Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here in my private office in Boca Raton, Florida, recording live. Uh, again, this is a, uh, a implant rescue case that was uh, referred to me, uh, actually as a patient from the internet, that uh, looked at one of the videos and he discovered uh, that we do have some good success with cases. This is the actual crown that came out of his mouth and um, he presented it uh, yesterday actually <clears throat> uh, for me to, to try to solve. So this crown actually has a metal lingual. It has the abutment attached to it. It is a, a an hex configuration to the abutment so that'll be internally uh, a hex configuration in the implant. So it is uh, a core vent um, type of uh, implant that were placed early on in the 90s, I would say. So now Zimmer has taken over this company, Zimmer Dental. Uh, this is the analog now that uh, you can see here. It's color-coded green. It's uh, one of the smaller diameter implant um, abutments, and you can see how nicely that fits together. So. Um, I'm going to show you the lingual of this. Several attempts were made to try to separate the abutment from the crown uh, without having to uh, produce any major heroics uh, and, and the possibility of even fracturing the porcelain. We did try hot water. It didn't work. Um, I would welcome some other suggestions, but we also pre-soaked in um, a material uh, called TNS or tartar and stain remover and uh, didn't quite work. So you'll see I made the lingual access hole and also this is the actual screw that uh, the remnants of the screw that I'm trying to pull through now on the lingual aspect of the crown. I'm going to continue to do that this evening but I wanted to show you uh, that we did have to make a small access hole. The type of screw with this case um, there are two I, I mentioned before. I'm going to try to just show you that this is a uh, internet um, photograph actually of the screw itself. So here you got the threads that go inside the implant itself. The fracture occurred right here at the shaft. So basically all this is what's found in the implant itself. Okay, and I'm trying to pull that on up through a small little hole that I made in the top. So it went all the way down from the bottom to the base all the way up to the top. So we're just about ready to pull that out of there. Uh, and that's where I started to, uh, wanted to show you what we filmed. The other implant um, screw is longer. You can see the shaft. This is the actual one that was within the straight uh, body of the abutment. Um, the dentist uh, that did place this implant is no longer alive so there's no record of this case and it is uh, uh, somewhat of an antique now. They no longer uh, make these type of implants to place anymore. So we have basically the spare parts world. Zimmer Dental is the company. Um, this is what the x-ray looks like. So you get an idea this is the actual implant itself. And, um, and I'll try to show you this other photo. Here's the numbers 8 and 9 respectfully together. 9 is the one that we're going to rescue. Um, Here's the one that's in the mouth, and of course, here's the uh, the crown. All right. So this part is loose. We'll be here again tomorrow morning filming, so you'll get to see this again on uh, this early December second, uh, 2013. Um, this is what the soft tissue looks like. Basically, it's almost closed over. I, I would anticipate tomorrow it will be closed over, so we'll be numbing this area, anesthetizing, and then also taking a scalpel and cutting a window right here to retrieve the um, the broken screw. And this is of course the head of the uh, uh, the implant abutment, actually the uh, implant abutment uh, fixture interface showing the hex configuration. Uh, let's see, was there anything else I needed to talk to you about? Ordering parts. Well, you've got to have your parts ready if you're going to be successful at uh, replacing what was there. Now this is all on how they actually package this screw. This uh, uh, screw was purchased from Zimmer and uh, you'll see them on the website. 
Zimmer Dental. MHLAS is the part. We did order two more screws with the longer shaft, the longer head, uh, just in case we were going to go right back in the same footwork. Looks like we're not going to do that because of the angle and the the length of the access hole. Um, I really don't want anything to cause a problem of us inserting the, the screw itself. So a smaller screw is going to work well. Tonight I'll make a little bit better access here. I'm going to remove the screw itself and then I'm going to take this new screw and, and, and gently place it all the way down in there and, and try to seat it passively and, and also try to have the, the uh, driver shaft go in without any obstruction as well. All right, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. Just wanted to show you the first of a series of videos that you're going to be seeing. But this is uh, this is what came in the door, and uh, hopefully we'll have a nice result and uh, be able to help uh, more of you viewers out there that have implant problems, broken screws, uh, before uh, you know you have them replaced or or uh, in any way uh, removed and and parts replaced there's always an alternative there's always a way to, to try to do it non-surgically so you don't have to have your implant uh, removed your fixture removed this could stay in the mouth uh, there's ways to to get around this and and without having to go through more uh, expense and trauma you know to the bone all right this is Dr. Jerry Como. Thank you for watching um, and continuing to watch and, and subscribing to <clears throat> to my channel. And uh, I want to wish everybody out there a very nice evening. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to go grab some water because I think I got a little dry throat. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.